now let's remove the piston rings. We remove first the top one because it's much easier to do top, first, second and then the oil ring. So you find that edge here, you push outwards on both ends and you remove it. Be careful not to scratch the gaps in there, not a good idea. Then we'll go to the second one. Same time. Then we we'll go for the top. Oh, ring. This is really soft. You can't mess it. It's pretty good. And see how the carbon had built up on this? Mm. The bottom one. A little bit like that at the moment, and then the actual part of the ring that holds the oil and distributes it into the cylinder. And we are done. We will take this nasty little bagger inside the sandblasting cabinet and do a bit of uh, glass bit plaster. This is how it came after. We didn't destroy any of the edges, any of the material. It's absolutely clean because the glass beads do not remove any material, providing you won't insist too much on a, on a specific area. what I've done. In order to find out the sequence of all the parts and where the, everything fits, instead of trying to find out at the last moment, I put a picture of the diagram, find exactly the part and the number, where it was from and attached it to this print with the number that corresponds on the diagram. So this one, because there's two seals, one before and after the uh, bush here. 
so that's this one the pinet to the crankcase that's the one responsible for holding all the oil in there and it seals between the gear shaft and the crankcase so for reference that's the spare part number from Yamaha let's put it back on push it with its own perfect next one that old ring which goes here for the neutral switch right here and the code for this is that. and you're done so now it's time to remove the bearings now see this pin you can't push it that way because it will lock and this is that's it its job to lock in place you push it on the other side downwards and you take it out same just a bit Take it out. And so forth. That's how you go with all of them. See this pin here, that pin over here, has to rotate, it stops right there. The same goes for this pin on the other side as well. And the same goes for this pin, which it has a spot here, not on the side, but okay. This one, no, you don't have it. But so far, so good. So here we have neutral for pressure. First gear, look at down to the first gear. That way, that's first. Then go on, second, third, fourth, fifth, that's it, that's as fine. Then again, fourth, third, second. First, it's still moving, and then let's go neutral. Yep, now it's neutral. All oh, good. Time to do the honing job on the cylinder, so I'll start with this one. I don't have much equipment to do it. 
at least I have the basics, but not a good bench to do it apparently. Okay, guys, we clean the cylinder out of uh, to move out away any kind of debris. And then we put some thin oil, engine oil preferably, to the walls of the cylinder for lubrication. And it's a good idea to put some in the stones as well. And you put this inside the cylinder, you give it as much center as you can, and you apply a medium speed and you keep doing that up and down all the time. Remember, don't go further than that because the stones are gonna come out and you're gonna just destroy the stones the least, maybe you sit in there as well, and don't go too deep because it's gonna come off on the other side, on the bottom of the sun. Okay. You want some big parts cleaner? Cleaning the cylinder in there. Now, if you want to achieve that 30 degree line or 45 degree, I found out that it doesn't work very well if you go on even a medium speed. What I found it works really well if you go on a very, very low speed and quickly go up and down. Something like this. That low speed and go quickly up and down. Keep it there for a good minute for that speed, that's fine. But go quickly up and down, make sure you don't come out of the cylinders because you're gonna destroy the tool or the cylinders themselves. That in order to achieve that 30 degree, if it's too fast, it's not gonna create the 45, 30 degree angle between the lines. Let's clean up. Yep, it worked. Beforehand, there were that kind of 35, 30, 40 degree angle, it wouldn't exist. Now there is. Sure it's absolutely clean. You have to clean it with a clean cloth or kitchen towel or something to the point that it doesn't take any dirt out of it. See that dirt? That's not clean. That means you have to clean more. That's clean. Just a bit of oil. You don't have to drown it into oil. Just that amount is more than enough for a whole cylinder. Nicely done, every surface is lubricated. It's not gonna get rusty for the at least next couple of weeks, if not a full month. Okay, let's see how can we put the chain together and put it back on the crankshaft. Let's remove the connecting pin. Things are simple. That goes in there. The other end goes in there. We put that with the writing on the outside and upwards. And that's it. No, it's not. We have to press this to make sure everything's tight. If we leave it, of course, it's going to come off and uh, goodbye engine. And the rain started, but it doesn't matter. So. It was a bit difficult to show you how exactly I've done it, but if you want to see videos, there's plenty on YouTube and you can check them out. And hopefully it's going to last for another 26 years, if not more. Now let's bring the uh, gasket of the watch cover. And this is how it looks. You clean nicely the edges of the gasket face. All right, let's try to replace the O rings. So 
so we have one and two O-rings to replace and these two O-rings we're gonna put in one here and here the other two are for the cylinder so let's take these off and put them in that oil pipe and remove the old ones Next one, the oil injectors. One, two. As the oil comes pressurized, it springs out of these two holes here, which they sprung oil just below the pistons. Hopefully, well, not to damage the crankcase. And for those who want to see the part number, that's the part number right here. You know the old one. The new one on, tiny amount of oil, just put it back in place. Thanks for watching my video. At this point, I'll have to stop this part to make another episode. It won't be long, hopefully, within the next couple of days. Thank you for watching my video, I really appreciate that. Subscribe or not, it's up to you. Uh, hopefully, that video was helpful. Thanks again for watching.